So the thing with Block Party, like it's a pretty average game mode for me. Like I'm thinking like C, because if you got rid of it, I wouldn't be mad, but it's also not like a bad game mode. So maybe like a B is what I'm thinking, honestly, for this season one I, game mode. Yeah. I'd say that this is probably like a, a C, like middle middle tier or something yeah you know? i mean it doesn't look too extravagant but yeah. it doesn't look too bad either i see it's b because it's it's i would say it's better than some of the other ones it's not like great but it's it's up there i would say gate crash i i'm indifferent to this one like it's okay you're trying to get to the end right probably more to think about and more to do in, yeah in party and it just it's kind of like basically the point is just to run forward don't like get well, hit by the gates well with with block party you have to think on your feet with gate crash you just have to have the right timing it, oh it's, yeah you it's just different look at the skill gates sets. going up and down yeah. and you just be like all right yeah i gotta jump out right. door dash i hate door dash with a burning passion i in see case anyone was curious i mean the thing with door dash the more i play it the more i hate it because everybody has figured out an exploit on how to find the correct door whereas me the idiot still can't figure it out <laughs> so i'm always like in the last all you have to do is just follow the people and not be in the very front unless you know exactly what you're doing i feel like with my game specifically the rng is terrible because i always get door dash and so i'm at a point where i'm like i don't care about door dash anymore so i'm gonna say a d like it's not the worst thing ever but i also just kind of hate it at this point egg scramble this one is a pretty popular team game mode the thing with egg scramble that's so easy is all you have to do is just like d destroy last place like whoever's in last just steal their eggs and you win <laughs> like both teams do that all the time but at the same mm. time even though it's very exploitable regarding how to actually win i think it's one of the more fun game modes like for me i'd say it's an a it's not s because it's not like the best game mode but i'd say it's one of the more unique game modes for sure it looks like every five seconds someone is going like involuntarily spastic over like eggs mm. and like flying around the place it looks amazing yeah i gotta tell you i, I think it's one of the best team game modes because it can like switch in 0.2 seconds as to who's winning and then you also have the golden eggs which everybody's fighting for and then the ones that aren't are like either defending or they're trying to get yeah. more eggs it's just a bunch of chaos and i love it it's and you know great. what it's a it's a, actually a metaphor for uh for capitalism yeah <laughs> sure you know what yep. fine yeah <laughs> sure we'll go with that now fall ball fall ball is like the most exploitable game mode in the entirety of fall guys all you have to do is stand in the middle and score your goal as soon as the ball spawns people do that and then the score is like 3 to 25. it is like the most exploitable game mode ever Man. and if if somebody can do that they basically win I'm mixed because it's fun, but it's also extremely exploitable. Emotively, do you think it should be in a B or C? I think it's C. If it's it's you... okay. It's literally just soccer, Rocket League, except it's yeah. it's got worse spawning. Fall Mountain. This is like the most aggravating game. That would be why I don't know what it is. Yeah, because uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's at the very end. Because yeah. I literally suck. I've seen so many clips where people like touch the crown, grab the crown, but they don't win. So I've seen a lot of glitches with that game mode. Basically, if you get hit once, you don't win. So you have to be some like skilled master to really beat Fall Mountain. If you get hit once, the enjoyment is just over at that point because you basically lose, even though you're still trying to get to the end. And the thing with the crown is once you get to the end, you don't win. You have to wait for the crown to go back down. So then it's about timing because then you got five people stacked up at the end trying to grab the crown. It's a very tense game mode. I think I'm going to put it at a B. You need to be highly skilled at it. And it's also like yeah. very intense. Especially because, like, it is one of the final game modes. Slime Climb. I'm indifferent with this one. I really don't care about it. It can go die, so it's F. It's too simple. Maybe it doesn't deserve F, because there's a few here that I know deserve F, so maybe a D. I think a D minus. D, yeah. Fruit Shoot. Fruit Shoot. I, like, I, I rarely get Fruit Shoot, but when I do, I kind of don't care about it. I'm indifferent about it. I'm going to put it at a C for me. The only thing it has going for it is giant fruit is rolling at you. Hit Parade is, I think, 
really fun because not only do you have to try to like balance at the start but then you have to dodge all of these like huge wrecking balls it, like it's a it's a stage that has a lot of variety which i do appreciate so then it's like although you're at the end you have to try even harder because now you got a bunch of people and these pillars trying to hit you i think it's a very well diverse stage i'm putting it at an a hexagon right for me this is an s I, there has been no clips of Hexagon that I haven't seen that haven't been entertaining, right? Hexagon is like honestly the best game mode. There are so many strategies you can go with this game mode, and it's very tense, obviously, because it's like one of the last game modes. When I play Fall Guys, I'm always rooting for Hexagon. That's how much I love it. Oh, Hoarders. All right. This is the exact same thing with Egg Scramble, except I feel like it's worse. Because instead of having a bunch of like little objects, you have three huge objects, right? Mm -hmm. Or not not even three, I think it's like five to six, maybe. I'm not sure. I say Egg Scramble is probably better than Hoarders. Obviously, I think Egg Scramble does a better job at it. But Hoarders is different because you need a bunch of people on one thing instead of just a bunch of people on a bunch of little things. If yellow is in last, then blue and red are gonna try to tag team to make sure yellow is actually at last. So it's that concept. But I think Egg Scramble does a better job at it. Hoopsie Daisy. I actually really like this game mode and I, I, I get pretty excited when I see it. I love the spawning mechanics of the hoops because you honestly just don't know where they're gonna be. So yeah. you, it's always a right place, right time. So the random mechanics are genius. Like it never feels like that you camp one spot and then there you go jinxed i hate jinxed so much i hate jinxed i always lose and i never feel like there's enough space which is probably the point but i just it's literally freeze tag it's like the worst version of infected i've ever played jump club now jump club and jump showdown these are basically the same thing except jump showdown has the stages fall so obviously i think jump showdown is gonna rank higher than jump club simply because of the stage being destroyed. I'm pretty different with Jump Showdown, but I think it's better than Jump Club, so I'm gonna rank Jump Showdown at a B and Jump Club at a C. Perfect match! Frick, perfect match! It can go die in a hole! I hate this game mode so much. I can- I hate it. I hate perfect match. Especially when you're playing with friends, because everybody's trying their own way to memorize it, especially the people who talk out loud like me. And I know I get on people's nerves. And also, I just, with mem memory games with this, with like, with Fall Guys, I just don't think mesh too well. I've, a perfect match can, like, go out of existence, please. Because I just, I just hate it. Especially because, like, a lot of people, like, not a lot of people, but some people, like, bait people pretty easily. Where they just go to the first thing, and then you have this crowd of people, and then they just dive out. And then, you know, they kill 20 people. Sometimes that happens. Not when I play, but I've seen clips. I like I've seen some people say perfect matches are favorite. How? I don't understand. It's so much unnecessary stress. Rock and roll is pretty exploitable because once the first person like gets their ball out of like the the area, then all the all they have to do is like go to the other team members and stop them. Every single time I play rock and roll, I like never win because we're never the first team to actually get there. And so I'm always the team in second or third where the first team is already trying to stop us. I don't I I'm I don't really care for it. I'm going to put it at a D. It's not terrible, but I just don't care. Roll out. I like this one. It's Yeah. It's okay. It gets chaotic when people start grabbing each other. Yeah. Um that's when like stuff goes bad. You could easily die at any though. second because somebody can just push you. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, it's pretty, pretty easy to avoid that if you know what you're doing. I'd say it's a B. Ooh, Dizzy Heights. All right. I don't know. I'd say, I'd say the Whirly Gig is better than Dizzy Heights. Actually, we'll put that in A and we'll put Dizzy Heights at a B. Tail Tag and Team Tail Tag. I think Tail Tag works better for teams. Tail Tag at a B. No, Team Tail Tag. At a B, tail tag at C, Seesaw. Seesaw is good if you're the first one, but rarely anybody's the first one. So you get you get to a point where you have to wait for everybody else. You kind of need teamwork, even though you're not on the opposite team, which I think is an interesting concept, and I do like it. I think it has that very unique aspect to it, so I'm putting it at an A, because I don't 
really know what any other game mode that really has that necessarily. Tiptoe. All right. So I'm never the first one in tiptoe to like go to the very front to try to guess the next uh, space. I'm always at the very back waiting for somebody else to mess up so I can just pounce, right? So you kind of have to be in like this weird middle area with the game where it's like you can't be in the very back, but you got to be like not in the front because if the platform isn't there, you're dead and then you basically lose. Tiptoe is literally perfect match, except you don't have to memorize anything. So for that, I'm going to put it at it. A. So, does this game work better for more people? I mean, it works better for less people because there's more space. Um, but I wouldn't put it above Team Tail Tag. Actually, I'm gonna put Tail Tag at a D and put Royal Fumble at a C. Alright, cool. So that's done. That took 40 minutes somehow. Uh, save download so I can post it to Twitter and be like, I'm right, you plebs. Alright. Time, time to gloat on Twitter saying how I'm right. Perfect. That's beautiful. I love that. 